brilliant woman and very inspiring women. And I feel like I have imposter syndrome somewhat. But you know what? I'm just going to wing it and I'm just going to share my experiences from what I've experienced in the, like the past few years of being a mom. Okay, so um, as they mentioned, I am a singer and a recording artist. And like what Miss Gina mentioned earlier, um, I had to give up some of my, you know, my, my parts of my career to focus on being a mom. Especially when I got pregnant and, you know, I had to get bed rest, you know. I'm sure you other moms here can relate to that. Na, medyo tumitigil yung mundo ng slide, di ba? So you're excited na parang, okay, nagpakasal na kami and we're gonna have a uh, child, ganyan. And then some people have difficulty getting pregnant and when you get pregnant, it's a difficult pregnancy. And you some things, um, unexpected things happen and some parts of your life just really stop. Diba? And then, nandun ka na, and then you're gonna say, Teka lang, hindi ako prepared. I have to cancel work, I have to cancel gigs, so I can take care of my pregnancy. So, nahihiya ako kasi meron akong prepare na slay. <laughs> Pero konting-konti lang talaga. So, okay guys, super mom time management. Okay, okay so the next step. Okay. Alright. Okay, so, I'm sure, like, everyone here can relate na parang, the 24 hours in our day is never enough. Do you agree? Never enough. Kumanta binay. Pero de ba? Never enough talaga. Because um, with all the things that we're juggling as moms, as you know, women in business who are working in the office, and then the demands of yun nga yung may kailangan yung asawa natin, may kailangan sa bahay, we have to take care of the household. Um, it's just really like. At first, I was like, ano na yun na yun na? How do I do this? And I get rattled easily. Kahit ang dalaga pa ako, parang ang bilis ko ma-stress. So, um, I have three kids and I've been a mom for like over seven years. And ganun na akong katagal. Medyo nag-adjust na parang maging mas kalaman ng konti, mas mellow ng konti. Kanina si Ms. Martin Masay na parang talagang the bother of moments and you get crazy because everything, all of the demands um, on you and then the kids as well. So, the first one, ito. Ano ba yung nilagay ko dito? Maroon akong konting mga uh, words about like time management. So, prioritize and organize. Diba? Um, it's so easy to, to, to be this and then listen to me say it, but it's really hard in real life. Diba? So, when you prioritize, favorite ko kasi in time management yung seven habits of highly effective people. I'm sure most of you are familiar with that, diba? Diba meron yung mga boxes, diba? So the first question always is, is it urgent? Is this thing that is um, right in front of me right now urgent and needs my utmost attention right now? Hashtag agad-agad. Diba pag mommy ka parang feeling mo lahat agad-agad, kailangan ngayon na. Especially when you have like little kids, others who just you know need your attention right now. So the next question is, is it important or not important? So I, I'm sure alam niyo na yan. Sa mga mommies na hindi familiar, i-google niyo na lang. You will learn a lot from that book of Stephen Covey, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. So for me, sobrang naging foundation ko. I learned it in college eh, when I was an officer in the organization I was in. Um, Tinurin sa amin na parang, of course, you have to focus on the things that are, um, yung mga right now, important and urgent. Just get it out of the way. Because, kailangan mo gawin yan eh. Yung mga urgent and not important, pwede mo i-delegate. Diba? Pagawa mo sa iba. Kasi, it will just take up your time, which is precious. Hindi naman na nadagdagan yan. And then, ito yung pinaka nahihirapan ako that I'm actually like, um, I want to focus more on, especially right now the important but not urgent. So enriching yourself, learning new things, diba? Parang trying out a new career, diba? It's never too late. Hindi naman na porque naging nanay ka natitigil na talaga hat, and then hanggang lahat and then hanggang doon na lang yun. So, and then the ur not urgent and not important, yan, yung mga time wasters, alam natin yan, yung mga Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, <laughs> Netflix and add to cart. <laughs> so, bawas bawasan natin yan. Diba? Ang daling sabihin, pero dila-dila na ko dyan talaga. But you know what? There are so many things like online that you can see, even in books, that you will learn on how to organize your day. You can have to-do lists, 
planners, organizers, ganyan. But, ang hirap kasi if you try to learn something and then makakahon ka na doon. So, I think the best way is to find what works for you personally. Ako personally, ginagawa ko lang talaga. I use my phone and just put things right in there in my notes. Diba? Kasi I try to reminder sa phone pa rin siya mag-work. So, and with my mom brain, um, tatlong beses ako na anesthesia, so talagang bawasan na ako ng brain cells. <laughs> so, meron akong mga uh, moments na dory moments. Diba? Like short-term memory loss talaga. Like, I pick up my phone and then I think, oh, I'm gonna call someone. I will, I will have to text someone that I need to remind, uh, remind her. And, or, or, or I have to put something in my good news. And then, nandiyan yung anak ko, Mommy! And then the thought just flies away. And then, <laughs> ang hirap na talaga. But you know, you have to make, diba, you have to make do with what you have. And just jot it down like there. So at least it's it's there for me. Hindi ko siya makakagin. And then, ano ba? Next. It, no, before, yeah, be flexible. Dag pala, dag pala dun sa plan. Um, prioritizing and organizing. For me, um, a system or a... Uh, one thing that I did recently, like early part of this year, was to really just declutter my home. Yung maglinis lang talaga. Kasi if you have um, small kids, I'm sure you know that. Talagang makalat yung bahay. Maglilikpit ka ngayon in a few minutes or in a few hours, makalat na naman. So what I did, talaga nagtanggal ako ng gamit. Diba? Para kung magkakalat man sila, hindi ganun kadami, hindi ganun ka-overwhelming. Kasi as I said earlier, I get rattled easily, I get stressed easily. And with physical clutter that I see, parang naa-apektohan yung, yung psychological na ano, right? clutter. Parang hindi ako makaisip kasi hindi maniwala. So siguro that's something that I want to share also. Na parang pag maayos yung kapaligiran mo, maayos yung bahay mo, mas maayos sa akong nakakaisip. Okay. So the next one is be flexible. You know, some of us, like, um, not me, obviously. Yeah, maraming plans, ayos lahat, you have a schedule, you go to, you go on vacation and everything's like me itinerary, ganyan. Diba? Maraming mga ganyan eh. And it's a good thing to have that. But with little kids, you have to be flexible. <laughs> because the unexpected will happen. Diba? So, dati, nung um, bago kami yung nilini pa lang, talaga may itinerary kami pinafollow, gumagawa ko na ko sa mga pupunta, nilini schedule. But I have learned to let go. And I said, okay, we'll go to this place, and then bahala na. Diba? So we'll just take our cue from our kids, or kung yung trip lang namin, and just do it. Less stress for everyone. Because you know what? When mommy is stressed, everyone gets stressed. Don't you know this? Diba? Parang lahat nagkatatrums na, lahat nagkikiyaka na. Yung asawa mo, matinig na din yung ulo. Everyone takes their mood from you. And I learned it the hard, uh, the hard way talaga. Parang napansin ko na parang hindi na okay yung environment sa bahay. And I think, it's me. Because I'm stressed all the time, I'm angry all the time. I love being a mom. But the thing is, I wasn't enjoying it for a period of time. Kasi parang nababalin na. Ganun na. So, um, yun lang. So, I'm sure you know this. A lot of people are nodding in agreement with me because you experienced this and you already know this so I'm just repeating it to you <laughs> okay so yun lang so actually I'm just really winging it in motherhood honestly so kaya nga yung disclaimer ako na hindi talaga ako expert I'm not an expert ma I'm not an expert in my management not at all so yeah um, you yeah, buy your time. Diba sabi nga nila, time is good. Pero hindi talaga nabibili ang oras. Honestly, it's that one thing that we cannot multiply. What we have, mahirap ka man or mayaman ka, our time is finite. It's just it. It's 24 hours in a day. Diba? So, what do I mean when I say buy your time? Diba? Like what our, our speaker said earlier, you delegate. You outsource. Diba? So, iwi-wi mo yan. Ano yung mga bagay sa araw ko na pwede kong ipagawa sa iba kahit magbayad ako? Mas sulit yun kesa ako yung gagawa. Kasi my time is precious. It's precious to the more important things in my life, to the more important people in my life. Okay? So, umabot ako dun sa point na parang 
um, masyado ko nakafocus sa pagiging mom, but I actually forgot my career. Na parang, oh, my singing who gives me so much joy, which is my passion, na isang tabi ko siya. Because I was so gung-ho on being the perfect, the perfect mom. Pero hindi naman talaga. Diba? So, my point is, yun nga eh. So, I have learned na parang, okay, since ang gagawin ko na lang, mag-work ako, like what, yung mga, like sinabi na lang, Ms. Gina kanina, diba? The connect with women. There's so many things that we can do at home. Yun yung gift ng pandemic eh. Diba, pandemic ay natin lahat yan. Pero it's one of the gifts um, that uh, I was able to work from home and I was able to learn new skills as well. So, I was a voice talent in the commercials. And I used to go, uh, I used to travel from Quezon City to Makati to record commercials. And sometimes I would, I would say no, just because of the traffic. Diba? So, for traffic, I would spend like three hours going home because it's rush hour. Na. So, it's just a time waster, and I would just say, Try na lang ako so I can like, take care of the kids. Ganyan. But, nung the pandemic, and I was pregnant actually with my third baby during that time. I was working from home. So it was such a blessing for me. And then, the una, I was scared to learn how am I going to do this? How, what equipment do I need? What skills do I need to do this? So what do you do? You ask help from others. Right? You ask help from people who know how to do it. And people are so generous with what they know. You'd be surprised. And I'm sure in Connected Women, you don't surprised because you are like that. You are a very helpful group. You help each other, you empower each other. So, yun lang. So, um, yun. Okay. So, yun na siya. And so, that's, the, that's how you buy your time. By delegating things to others and by outsourcing things to others, you get extra time to focus on what is important. So, tanong ko na sa mga mami sa nandito, what is important to you in your life right now? Family, diba? So yun naman talaga, no matter what stage in your life you are in, it's really family. And the pandemic also has taught this to us, diba? So why do we do what do we do? It's for them. It's for their happiness. So um, you also have to take care of yourself. Yung palagi natin nalilinig yun eh, sa mga, like sa mga mom support group, you have to take care of yourself kasi diba? Paano ka mag-aalaga ng pamilya mo? Paano ka magiging ilaw ng tahanan? Kung ikaw mismo, hindi. Or wala kang ilaw. Diba? So you have to empower yourself. You have to inspire yourself. And it's such a good thing that we are all here today. Being inspired by these women who are empowering each other, helping each other, and teaching each other how to stand up on their own. And napakaswarta natin na we have SM also, SM Super Malls, to give us this chance. So, parang tuwa ako ngayon kung ano po na rin yung Gina na mayroon rin yung startup market na syempre, ang dami natin mga mommy sa ligod na may side hustle, na may racket, na mga online business. And I just want to thank SM for having this initiative para nga naman talagang may store. Diba? Kasi yung iba na intimidate na parang paano kung magkakaroon yung store sa SM? Mahal, mahirap, ganyan. And it's so easy. I saw the process that you said na parang from start to finish, you will be there helping them each way. So, Alam pa ka naman natin ng SM guys. Ako na tuwa yun ang buwan So, once again, I'm... Doon ko na i-admin po ako. So, um, once again, I'm Princess Velasco. And thank you so much, SM Super Moms, Super Moms, and Connected Women for having me this afternoon. Sana may natutunan kayo. Thank you. Thank you so much, Princess.